The following video is, is an explanation of how to go to and use the Scientific Animations Without Borders website and download materials that are useful in educational programs. So let's first go and find the Scientific Animations Without Borders website or SAVO. So let's go look for SAVO. And what comes up here is Scientific Animations Without Borders website. So there are two sites. First is a full website version which includes uh, basically all the materials we have and it's a much more uh, interactive large-scale site and the second version is a mobile version for uh, for individuals or groups with less bandwidth that essentially just want to find the educational materials to download and uh, get them off with without uh, having to use so much bandwidth in order uh, to access the site. So for, for the purpose of this video, we are only going to go over the full website version and I will do a separate tutorial for the mobile version. So let's start off by clicking the full website version and now we'll go to the website for Scientific Animation Without Borders and we'll go through a series of steps at the site. The very top uh, section, there are a series of pictures that come up but there are also a series of videos, and if you click on each of the any one of these buttons, a video will come up. The first video is from University of Illinois Foundation and explains the impact of giving on scientific animation without borders. The second item is a article on the on PBS about scientific animation without borders. The third is a TED talk about SABO. The fourth one is an actual interview that was done on the uh, regarding the project. And then finally, we have a video that is um, an animation explaining the program. So if you click on any one of these, you'll get an explanation of what is scientific animations without borders. And when we go to the next part of the screen, what we have um, are sections where you can take a person back home again, a site map explaining all the different sections of the site, there, you can also click on a section about our team, uh, discusses our team members and shows um, what each of us are working on. Also an outreach program which will take you to a map of the world that explains where we're working and groups that we're collaborating with. There are also areas where you can contact us to um, get involved with SABO. Uh, another section where you can share your ideas with, with our group. Additionally, there's a section uh, for donations. Uh, Scientific Animation Without Borders um, is, is supported by generous donations. So um, for those that are interested in donating, we very much appreciate it. Additionally, we have a gallery of videos where one can look at videos based on language or region of the world. There's photos, and photos are primarily about different areas of the world where we're working and showing impact. There's also a section to search the site, how-to information, and facts on, on the site and on SAVO itself. Now, if a person goes to the middle of the page, the projects or videos that are currently available are given here. Scientific Animations Without Borders, or SAVO, has produced uh, more than two dozen videos on a variety of topics. And if you click the button given here on the left, um, you can search through these projects. And if you click on the button on the right here, I'm showing, it will click and move in, in the opposite direction. So you can sort through to look at the different various projects. Now let's go to the first set of projects and we'll explain some of the things that are currently available. The first video is an actual video on the program itself and we have it available in English and Spanish. The second video is solar treating of cowpeas, a simple technology in order to um, treat uh, cow peas to get rid of insects so that when you store the cow peas um, you don't have problems with insect attack. Um, additionally, these, all of these videos are done in numerous different languages and each of these boxes a person can go in and download the watch the videos and download the videos. We have several other agricultural videos, uh, videos on cholera prevention, uh, videos dealing with oral rehydration for those people that have um, contracted cholera a Shia putter production video, uh, several videos on malaria prevention including bed net nets, a video additionally on, on dengue prevention, tuberculosis prevention, an interactive uh, video for cell phones on tuberculosis, another video on how to remove the poison from cassava flower, 
um, in order to make the cassava flour safe for, for consumption, we have a series of videos on post-harvest losses or how to prevent post-harvest loss, everything from bag transportation to bulk transportation, storage of bags and stacking of bags. We have videos on prevention of Chagas disease, West Nile virus, uh, several other videos in production, yellow fever pre prevention, a video on bio, biocontrol approaches for uh, legume pod borer, several videos from collaborative groups on everything from soil testing to maternal health. We have a video on hand washing and a series of videos that deal with how to use a meter dose inhaler with a spacer. So these were done in collaboration with University of Illinois Chicago Medical School. And additionally, we have other videos in, in progress. So let's just go back to um, an, one video where we have a fair number of different languages available. We will go to the cholera prevention video. So you just click on the project itself, and what will come up is an explanation of the video itself, including funding support, all the different language variants that we have available. So these language variants are done in collaboration with people from around the world. Um, many of them are just about, just about all of them are volunteers who have generously provided their time and expertise to do voiceovers in a diversity of different languages. If you choose a different, different language, it'll take you to that page and you'll have access to the video in that given particular language. Now you can also watch the video in this particular space right around here. And let's just go back to the English version with an accent from Nigeria. If a person clicks this button, then the video begins to play. I'm going to turn down the volume here so that the video will run while I'm, I'm continuing to talk. One can now go to the bottom here and click here if you would like to download the video. So then I would click right here to begin the process of downloading the video. Then I just push save and the process of downloading the video would actually in turn occur. So this happens to be just an FLV version. Uh, we have MP4 versions and a variety of other different um, formats of these videos so that can people you can use them in uh, a variety of different circumstances. All of our videos are made available in a 3GP format, which is appropriate for cell phones. They're made available in two sizes. One size is um, for uh, easy transference from cell phone to cell phone, but is a lower, lower resolution. The other one has a higher resolution. Now, if you experience what I'm experiencing right now here, where it asks me if I want to abort the script, my download is not quite complete, so I need to say no. So then this process will continue. Now my download has now completed, and I can see it in the upper right, upper right hand corner. Now if I want to download a 3GP version, so let's download the 3.3 megabytes, uh, megabyte version, uh, and let's download that. Now, if we look at the bottom while well, this is downloading, if I were to click here, it would take me to my next project. If I click here, it would also take me to the, the previous project. I can also download a larger version available for cell phones. So let's now download this. It'll replace the other one because we've they've labeled it in the same way. Now, just looking at the site too, there is information as this is downloading, uh, information that is given about the background of the video, some of the potential languages that we have or are going to be releasing, and that is variable from site to site. So I have now downloaded this particular video, and it is available to stick on cell phones. And one, and I just push through here, so one can actually watch this video and transfer to cell phone, and then transfer it from cell phone to cell phone using Bluetooth technology. Now at the bottom of the page, one also has available our information on our Facebook site, our Twitter site, LinkedIn, YouTube. One can like this or send information to, to other individuals. Additionally, we have at the bottom here information on terms of use of the site. All of our materials are given out freely for educational purposes only. So uh, if you want to use this in educational programs, 
We very much appreciate that. And this just explains all the, the, the terms and conditions associated with that. And again, we give these out freely, so we just appreciate that people are using them. And um, we are very happy that individuals will take these out into um, their particular uh, educational programs and use them to uh, help individuals uh, dealing with some of the challenges that they face in different areas of the world. So the next tutorial will deal with the mobile version. Thank you very much and please uh, enjoy using the Sawbo site and the Sawbo materials.